All right, what is going on everyone? While you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs, you know, running 100 cubes, there may be things you may missed out on. So this is a quick PSA to let you all know to make sure to do or get these as soon as possible. The first thing is, as most of you should know, but just to double check, is to join a, at least level 25 guild. Making sure to join a big guild lets you take advantage of all the rewards in the future for tier four. So make sure you do that. And then one thing people may not know is that when you go to uh, manage and guild management, you can click join roster and you can join all the characters that you want in the same guild. This is recommended so things are easier and you're taking advantage of all the grill guild rewards just like that. All right, the second thing is in the shop, you'll notice right here, limited edition legendary combat engraving recipe selection pouches and you might go oh it's one for 200 no 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 it's 10 for 200 crystals this is an insane deal that you should definitely be getting before it runs out. i don't know if this was a mistake or not but this helps greatly for you to get every combat engraving you need to that 20 or I guess it's the full legendary 20 spot. You can purchase up to four. So that's 40 legendary books that you can have, meaning that you can max out on two different engravings for only 400, or sorry, for only 800 crystals. I'll take that any day. But anyways, moving on. So many of you probably didn't know or haven't figured out yet. So again, just as a reminder, but we have new cards. So there are cards like, if you scroll all the way down at the bottom here, Sleeping Earth Protection, you got all these bunch of other cards that we haven't redeemed yet because they're all new. So these are good cards to get. And the reason why is I think one of them is actually useful for Brel. But other than that, we go to our collection book. And when we go to our collection book, for example, if we want to go to specialization, you see that you can get a free I wouldn't say free, but you get plus three specializations for collecting these cards. So make sure to favorite them so that you know to unlock them as soon as you get them. Same thing goes for crit. You know, there's crit right here. Same thing goes for swiftness. There's swiftness right here. There's even one right here. So make sure to favorite all those. And then one thing I also noticed is, or I guess two things, in the bonus versus demons, there is actually another one right here so make sure you get all these for an extra 0.3 percent bonus to demons but there's also something called a bonus versus arch demons and somebody can let me know what kind of bosses that are coming up are arch demons but this is something new to maybe you know get so get them and you can start collecting bonus versus arch demons as well other than that so i mentioned this in my other video but to wrap it up when you go to your solo mode exchange shop, be sure to go to the second tab. And you know what? I'll show it. So let me pause this video real quick and I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right. So let's make our way there. And the thing I wanted to talk about was the combat EXP potions. Oh my God. My game is lagging hard. Okay. There we go. So you guys know now the level cap is to level 70 so you should be trying to do your cubes and try to find all the combat xp potions as quick as possible so there's the ones in the guild shop there's one outside in the ships i've mentioned all this but one thing that was a huge question mark was the solo mode exchange so in wine blues video he did mention that in korea's version they did have it but we weren't sure if we we're going to have it in our na version well what do you know if you go to the second tab to exchange and scroll all the way down boom major combat xp potion but also boom xl xp potion so this one is a one-time thing but 10 million combat exp this is something you should definitely get it's only cost 200 coins so this is a one-time deal make sure you get this but otherwise for the major combat exp potions you can purchase 30 of them weekly so make sure you are getting these as well from the solo mode exchange shop Anyways, that's it for this video. Just a quick, quick PSA. So I won't, you know, let you guys stay here for too long. Thank you all so much for watching. 
and bye. Sorry guys, sorry guys. I know this was supposed to be a short video. I promise I'm not trying to lengthen the video for the mid-roll ads, okay? I'm very upfront about that, by the way. I was really trying to make it short, but I had other things to talk about. So here I, here I am from the future. I'm currently 1655. I'm working my butt off trying to get to 1660 so I can get the next rewards of things and whatnot. But there are some things that I wanted to let you guys know to do because it might slip past you, right? So it's just a quick PSA reminder to do. The first thing is for ability stones. So your ability stone just doesn't automatically get transferred. You need to upgrade it in the NPC here. So I don't have enough sacred transcendent powder yet, but as you do your chaos dungeons and you dismantle the crappy uh, tier four ones, you will get them and then you can transfer it for 9,000 gold. This is what you should do because you need that ASAP. The second thing I wanted to talk about is kind of the materials, honing materials. So if you're planning on pushing, but and I am pushing, but I have a lot of bound materials. So I have plenty of materials that are bound where I don't need as many tradables. Sell them in the market right now. If you sell them, they go for a lot of money. I already sold just stuff that I got from Chaos Dungeons and Guardians. And look, I got like 6,000 gold, 6.5k gold just for this Guardian Stone. It's not even the, the Destruction Stones. If I sell this lot that I got, just got, it's wow, 38 gold right now. That's that's nuts. Like you can get 5.3k. Like I'm not going to do the uh, damage ones because I'm going to hone my weapon. But for the Guardian Stones, I mean, look, look at this. If you're like me and you just played normally, look how many tradables you have. Look at this. I have 187,000 of this. I have 400,000 of this. This is a lot of money. Sell these now if you have the capacity to do so. And finally, the one other thing that I wanted to mention is going to here and, oh no, wait, what? No, here, Legion Raid Exchange. And you want to make sure you spend all of your eyes on this and convert, convert, convert. Not only that, Sorry, there is one more thing from this NPC that I just remembered. And it's very important. The special honing. The special honing leap stones. Make sure you convert everything. If you were saving up, you should have a decent amount. Right now, I only have 71. But it's a decent amount because you need it to hone your gear. And it's 10% chance. So it's a very high chance of getting it. But anyway, those are a few little things that I wanted to mention as well. But that's the end of this video. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.